Hey, everyone. We are live at the Pace Studio right now in New York with John Sampson. John Sampson, thank you for being here. Thank you so much. We appreciate it very much. And could you can you introduce us to everybody who's here right now? This is Seth Falk hey. on Cajon and Vocals. All right. Hello. And um, Kate. Hello. All right. Kate Steinberg, amazing <laughs> vocalist. Nice. Well, thank you all for being here. We appreciate it very, very much. And congratulations are very much due to you because Ageless Songs for the Child Architect, Ar- Architect. <laughs> Woo. Archetype, uh, the album, the it. is uh, uh, it's out in the world and it has just been nominated for a 2020 Grammy Award as uh, Best Children's Album. So well done, John. Nice, and we're looking forward to hearing three songs off of it. Can you tell us what's first? Yes, this first song is called Predicament, and my goal was to make a song that really acknowledges what's going on in this world, but also maintain a sense of childlike hope and creativity. So that's what this song is about. All right, love to hear it. The sun always shines Unconditional light And the moon always glows Unconditional night And we all go through a dark night But we always shine bright Like penguins and polar bears In the light of the night Unconditional love Unconditional sight Unconditional day Unconditional night Shake my hand, slap me five Bump me on the fist And isn't it weird how we even exist This universe is a strange place The mysteries and the challenges we face And there's a line between a problem And a predicament You can solve the problem But you manage, you manage, you manage A predicament And kids gonna lie to you This world is a little bit broken This world is a little bit broken I wish I could say I was joking But it's not as bad as it sounds No, it's not as bad as it sounds No, it's not as bad as it sounds can happen when we all sing the same song when we all sing the same song when we all sing the same song and this world is a little bit broken That's no excuse not to use gifts the universe gave you And from there we'll start solving problems We'll manage, we'll manage, we'll manage A predicament Beautiful people Beautiful souls and 
ends of the world Opposite ends of the world Opposite ends of this world Is a little divided This world is a little bit broken But the sun always shines Unconditional light So shake my hand Slap me five Bump me on the fist And isn't it weird How we even exist Thanks Alright Yeah That sounded great Thank you for coming Bringing the music here today We appreciate it very much um, I want to talk about the uh, the occupation of music therapy. You are music a music therapy. therapist I'm in addition therapist, to being uh, to, to writing and singing these songs. So for the yeah. people tuned in on the internet right now who may be just now becoming aware that music therapist is an occupation, can you talk about what it is and what the uh, what the what the work entails? Absolutely. Well, um, firstly, I've been doing music therapy for fifteen years, and one of the main things about music therapy that I love is it's process oriented, which is the case for all therapy, but when you get the creative arts involved, creative arts in general, it doesn't have to be music, but you are, it's, it's about how you're feeling in the moment, what you're creating in the moment, and as important as goals and projects and the products are, it's being able to make every step of that feel good. And that's something I'd like to see more in schools, too. And so um, music therapy, in a nutshell, is facilitating the creativity in others. Yeah. Nice. Okay. I mean, what is it in, a, in the average day of a music therapist? I and mean, obviously without giving away any of the privacy of any of the people that you work with, but what is the, what, what, what does it look like? What do you... Uh... We do a lot of improvisation. I've produced thousands of improvised songs with kids. Come into the studio, however they're feeling, and we got Pro Tools and a green screen, and some of them want to make videos, and they're just they're just singing, and they're singing their truth. They're singing about very painful things and very happy things. It's just a mix. It's the spectrum of the human condition. So this album is very much about the human condition, and uh, I hope that answers the question somewhat. Yeah, absolutely. Very improvisational, I will say, but every music therapist is different. You know, there's a lot of different ways to to do the work. Nice. And so one main goal I just want to add is really bringing it more into the mainstream. It's not just there's a clinical issue, there's something we have to fix, but something where every single person's health is contingent on their creativity and their self-esteem. And so I would love to see more creative arts therapists blending with education and making this more of a curriculum. Yeah, absolutely, man. I agree with you wholeheartedly, and, uh, and we appreciate you spreading that message and we like to use this platform to amplify the voices of people who are saying things like that that matter so we're stoked to have you here today thank you so much um, and sharing music from ageless songs for the child archetype we're about to hear two more songs from it can you tell us yeah. what's happening second today all right this is called love is not a race um we uh, on the surface it's about hugs and a little bit deeper this is certainly a nod to the me too movement and so uh, we can sing the song, and if you have a question after that, we can sort of chime in. But um, literally, the, the bridge is, uh, if you Google how many hugs a day do you need, it says four for basic survival, eight for maintenance, upkeep, and 12 to grow a day. And I think we have an epidemic of loneliness in the world, even though we live in an overcrowded city. A lot of people don't get their daily quota of hugs. And so that's, that's a whole conversation that we could have. Anyway, here's Love is Not a Race. Little hug, big hug, big hug, little hug, doesn't matter what the size. Big hug, little hug, little hug, big hug, sparkles in your eyes. Little hug, big hug, big hug, little hug, morning, noon, and night. Day feel like little hug, big hug, big hug, little hug, embrace at your own pace. Big hug, little hug, little hug, big hug, love is not a race, love is not a race. So take your time, cause life is not a race. So slow down, slow down. And love Go at your own pace. 
go at your own pace Big hug, little hug, little hug, big hug Squeeze me and release Big hug, big hug, little hug The love is yours to keep Big hug, little hug, little hug, big hug Love is all around Little hug, big hug, big hug, little hug The love is always found Big hug, little hug, little hug, big hug Warmth is in the air Little hug, big hug, big hug, little hug Show someone you care Show someone you care Show someone that life is not a race So slow down, slow down And love is not a race Go at your own pace, go at your own pace, go at your own pace Hugs we need Four hugs a day For basic survival Eight hugs a day For the upkeep Twelve hugs a day To grow And more and more and more To let the love show Little hug, big hug, big hug, little hug Everybody's got a heart Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, is it ironic that nominated for a Grammy, this is our first time playing these songs live? So oh, wow. Well, dude, honor we feel to be even. Here for me. Yeah, and for us too, we feel that much more special that uh, this is the first, the, the live debut of these songs. So thanks for coming and doing it. Thanks so much. Yeah. We're going to switch places. Yeah. Um, can we? So let's continue talking about. Uh, <clears throat> kind of about hugs, but also about, I mean, so in addition to making sure that you're getting at least four hugs every single day, just to make sure that you don't lose your sanity and humanity completely. Can you talk about some of the stuff that you're doing in your life to make sure that you stay healthy and receptive to being able to write new songs and being able to perform them and just staying healthy in general? And what do you, what do you recommend others do more of the same of in their lives? Well, there's a saying the best, um, the best health care is self care. And, uh, you know, you got to be able to really have that self-love thing down first. So if you, don't have, if you don't have your own sense of empowerment intact, if you're not no, plugged no. in, uh, yes, um, then you're not going to be able to really give that to others, and you're not going to be able to receive that, right? So if you just go around frantically trying to hug everybody, that's not quite it, <laughs> even though it's beautiful <laughs> to hug people. But it's really your relationship to yourself. I'm not saying anything new. This is some meat and potatoes, pop psychology, but you know, one person could do yoga and it can be amazing for them and other people, they don't have that type of mind and body to do that for them, it's running or, you know, so you gotta find what works for you. And so, you know, we're all on the spectrum of anxiety, we're all on some kind of focus spectrum. And I think the, one of the main messages I'm trying to get across here, you know, we are really in this human condition thing together. And so we're all expressing different aspects of humanity. And assuming that we're of integrity, we just need as much expression of the diversity of the human condition as possible. Everyone's an artist, even if they don't literally make art. They're creating with the words they say and the thoughts they think and the way they treat other people and themselves. Oh, and on that note, if that, <laughs> if I'm just gonna introduce my own song. Yeah, please I'll do. I'll just keep going. So this last one is called uh, Bipolar Bear. And so it's really, it's a bit of a play on words. It's about the relationship between penguins and polar bears. They are indigenous to opposite poles in the world. And so being able to find the, uh, 
the balance between the extremes. And so that's what the song is. You guys ready? All right. Duality. 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 We live in a world of opposites. The cosmic pendulum swings left or right. Or up or down. And all around the world is sound. But in the silence we have found a way to split the day. Difference between polarities, good or bad, to do duality, black or white, to do duality, love or hate, to do duality, wrong or right, to do duality. We dwell in the middle of two poles, north and south, polar bears in the north pole, and penguins in the south. But do your own. Search before you trust words from my mouth. Words like truth, reply to do duality, ignore, reply to do duality, give up or try to do duality, hello, goodbye to do duality, all or nothing, work or play, start or stop, duality, bubble or pop. And did you know a penguin and a polar bear can't be friends? Because their homes on planet Earth are opposite bookends. They both live in harsh extremes, but manage to survive. They adapt in freezing cold to keep themselves alive. Talk about life or death to do duality, fight or flight to do. Duality, weak or bold, to do duality, young or old, to do duality. And if I was a penguin and I a polar bear, we'd have our similarities and differences we share. But there's no way for me to swim from here to over there. So when I do not visit you, it's not 'cause I don't. It's just extreme distance between a penguin and a polar bear. I'm sorry I can't say hi or bye, polar bear. But I wouldn't complain to a penguin that life's not fair. So the penguin in me greets the polar bear in you as we melt our polarities and make something. When dealing with extremes, 'cause there's a lot of gray between our whispers and our screams. It's all about a combo of our stark polarity until we find the middle ground. Do do duality until we find the middle ground. Do do duality. All right, thank you very much, John Sampson. That sounded outstanding. Kate, Seth, thank you very much. Also, the vocal harmonies were wonderful all the way around. So, thanks for being making this the first live performance of these songs. Yes, and so, so, Ageless Songs for the Child Archetype is the album. It's up for the 2020 Grammy for Best Children's Album. So, congratulations thank on the nomination and thank best you of so luck much. on the uh, on when 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 it happens, man. Um, and so cocreativemusic.com is where all the all your information is about music therapy, about the classes you offer and all the um, everything that you're up to in in professional life. So, dude, thank you for coming by and sharing the music with us today. And uh, thanks so much. With Find me on YouTube as well. I have a YouTube channel uh, under my name. I believe it's either John Sampson or Co-Creative Music.